My name is Max. My world is reduced to a single instinct. Survive. As the world fell, it was hard to tell who was more crazy. Me or them. Do not let yourselves become addicted to water in this forbidden desert. What a day! What a beautiful day! In the desert! My Furiosa! Fool! Don't let her escape! Wait, what? Is that a Morton Joe following you? Yes! Then we better go! Bojo and welcome back. I'm Eric, no, I'm Joe. I'm Max. And I'm Furiosa. And together we are King Fisher Games. Games. Today we're gonna talk to you about <laughs> another family style game. This one's fully cooperative. And that is Forbidden, Forbidden Desert. Desert. It's for ages 10 plus. It's for it's about um 45 minutes to play. And it is for up to two to five players. So join us at the table to find out more. What did you say your full name was? Immortan Joe! <laughs> So here we have Forbidden Desert, yeah. Thirst for Survival. <laughs> nice. So, we have to find this propeller. We have to find this uh, diamond piece. Sun gem. We have to find an engine. And uh, what do we call this? Sundial, I believe. We have to find a sundial. And we have to connect them on this ship. Yeah, so uh, part of the setup, Owen's got it here. We're going to do a... 5x5 five five grid. Yeah, mostly 5x5 five five grid. Hmm. Yeah, take all these. Close. They can all just go on the side. These are the sand tiles. They are double-sided. These are. This is the blank side. Then there's a side with an X on it. Okay. Hopefully that'll stay. I don't know if that'll uh, stay upright or not. This space in the middle represents the, the storm. storm. Uh, then next part of the setup is making the uh, the sand timer. So we're playing a. There's two, three, four, and five players. We're gonna set it on the three player and normal. And this goes in the stand and just sits off to the side so all the players can see that. Next, we are gonna shuffle the uh, storm deck and 
they're all facing the same way with the game right on the bottom. And we have selected Owen to be in charge of the sand cards. And they're all oriented the same way that the top of the map is north. Then we have the gear cards. These also just get shuffled and put off to the side till a card tells us to do them. Owen, can you read the names of the uh, special player cards? Yeah, sure. So first, we have the Meteorologist. We also have the Climber. The Water Carrier. Navigator, Archaeologist, The Explorer, and that's all. Yeah, so they'll get shuffled. Oh, they'll get shuffled. Oopsies. Yeah, <laughs> they'll get shuffled. And one will go to each player. These will go face up. So let's see. Oh, and everyone starts at the same crash landing pad. So green for the explorer, black for climber, and white for the meteorologist. The rest can be returned to the box. And so you'll get one of these clips. Put that on the highest uh, water level. I um, have three water. Ooh. The Explorer has four. The meteorologist has four as well. So yeah, just put it up, put it like that on the on the floor. So all players start at the top of their water level. In this case, uh, the green and white start at four, but the climber only has three water. Last part of setup is sand is placed on all of these tiles. And that's the setup. So the actions that a player can do is move, and that's uh, up, down, left, and right. You can move to an adjacent unblocked tile. Um, then you next action that you could do is clear sand, and that is on a tile that you're on or adjacent to. So clearing sand is taking off one of these. Uh, excavate is flipping over the tile that you're on if there's no sand on it. Uh, such as the starting space and then pick up a part which we haven't picked up any of these parts from the map yet so those remain off to the side uh to choose the starting player you ask everyone well whoever is the thirstiest is the start player oh <laughs> that's right yeah in this case i'm, I'm I'm, I'm thirsty. No, me, I am. No, I'm thirsty. I'm, I'm, I'm the thirsty one. I'm eating my saliva. <laughs> <laughs> That's how thirsty I am. All right. Chloe can go first. Again. Um, so our special abilities, mine, a, uh, the explorer, I can move, clear sand, and I can use the dune blaster gear diagonally. Owen? My special ability is to move to block tiles take one other player with you when you move you and other players can on your tile cannot be buried oh that's good and close should i read both of these yeah spend actions to draw fewer storm cards one card per action at the at the end of your turn spend one action to To look at a st storm card equal to the storm level and and optionally, yep. uh, place one at the bottom of the deck. Yes, meteorologist helps us manipulate the storm deck, which comes in handy. So Chloe is the thirstiest, <laughs> so she would. She would uh, get to move, uh, do her four actions. After you take your four actions, you look at the number where the dial is on the sandstorm track. In this case, it's a three. So the three 
uh, storm cards would be flipped over one at a time. The storm would move on the board. So Owen was going to flip over three storm tiles. So uh, it says two spaces up to the north. So, so one. So we would move two and, they, and we would add another uh, storm tile. Yep. Sand tile. Sand, sand tile. Sand tile. But yep. this time, if it was on the second level, it'd be, um, what's this color? Uh, it's just the darker side with the X, showing that it's blocked. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two more card zone. Ooh, the storm picks up. So, we would move it right here. Yep. To Elite. Yes. And one down. One down. So now the storm is in this place. If the um, if the card if the storm was ever on the outside of the board and a and a storm card would make it um, move out of that space, nothing would happen. You kind of your team is safe uh, temporarily. As tiles are excavated you'll have pictures of the gears on them with arrows pointing up and down or left and right once you find uh, tiles with the same gear on it you follow the left left and right up and down and that is where wherever they cr would cross that's where the gear would go in this case the line goes here and then this way so the gear goes on this tile see this points up and down, so, and this one is above it, so we go up where it's pointing to and across right where it meets. Mm -hmm. Then the sun gem will go there. And now, since Chloe is the next player, she can pick it up on her turn. Mm -hmm. There are three tiles with water on them. Uh, two of them have wells and one of them is a mirage, so nothing would happen. Uh, when you're on a tile that has water and it uh, has a well on it, and it's revealed, every player that's on that tile at that time gets two water. Unless you're playing with the water carrier, then there's a special ability. Next, if you flip over cards that have gear on them, uh, you will just draw one from the tile. And these are single use, they do not get shuffled back into the game or they don't get shuffled back into the deck in case you it, just in case you pull up a sun beats down nothing happens to the thermometer but but um everybody loses one water once you run down to this red red water symbol that means you're dead and your whole party loses you can be saved from sun beats down by being in a tunnels, uh, tunnel tile, or if you have one of these special gear cards that allows you to block it. Once your team has all four gear pieces, you can you uh, add them to the airplane. And then once all of your teammates are on the launch pad, you win the game. Vroom. Uh, there are three ways to lose, though. Like Owen said, if we could die of thirst, you could be buried alive where there are too many sand tiles, uh, sand tokens on your tile. Yeah. Or you could be swept away where the storm meter uh, gets to these uh, red. Yep, the red skull and crossbones again. And that's how you play. Max, Furiosa. Come back to the Citadel. Ugh, it's just me. It was me the whole time. Oh, oh, yeah, I knew it was you the whole time. See, I'm not me either. I'm just Owen. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm actually curious. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks for watching. Owen, what, what do you like about Forbidden Desert? cooperative idea of the game 
Except one thing that I don't really like is that if one person dies, the whole party loses. Yeah, thematically, we had a good discussion about this. The thematically, that doesn't make sense. That one person in your party goes down and then everybody goes down without continuing the fight. Chloe, what's something you like? Um, I like that you're trying to build a ship and you have to, um, like, if there's an arrow here pointing up and an arrow here pointing this way, yeah. you would have to go like this and find a tile. And yeah, I like that. Cool. Uh, I also like the cooperative uh, aspect of this. Um, and I tried to not quarterback too much and let everyone make their own decisions. <laughs> and then we just play through it like that. But this game, by far, out of the two that we've, the two forbidden games that we've reviewed, this one, by far, I think our favorite. Hey, yeah. thumbs up for this one. Yeah, this one's pretty good. If you didn't have a chance to watch our video on Forbidden Island, I'll leave a link in the description below. Like and subscribe for more board gaming content. We like to have fun here, and hope you do too. Well, Gigawa Min Minawa.